Hi students, coming to the next topic that is a special function registers that are present in 8051 microcontroller. So actually this special function register, uh, it is uh, the upper 128 bytes of on-chip RAM so used for special function register it means the on-chip ROM which is present in 8051 microcontroller. So it is having the central processing unit, RAM, ROM, timers and counters, everything every present within the 8051 microcontroller chip. So an on-chip ROM uh, holds, uh, which is an 8051 microcontroller, consists of 128 bytes upper special function register. Means 128 bytes, uh, in this uh, upper 128 bytes, these special function registers are stored. Uh, these special function registers or maybe a bit size, byte size or word size registers and the special function registers are used to control timers, counters, serial input output, port IOs and peripherals. So that those are the different, uh, the uses of the special function register. The uh, registers can be used for the controlling the timers, counters, serial input output, port input output and peripherals. Now coming to the different elements of special function registers. The elements of special function registers are accumulator and B register. These two are each 8 bit in size and the data pointer register. So they, this is a 16 bit register and it acts as a higher order and lower order, 8 bit higher order and 8 bit lower order. This DPTR data pointer register is used whenever you are using external ROM or RAM or connected to this 8051 microcontroller means whenever you are going to use the external uh, memory uh, organization then you can use data pointer to that external memory and the program counter uh, this is one of the special function register which is of size 16 bit and the stack pointer is an 8 bit register program status word is an 8 bit register and uh, some of the special function registers are the port latches port 2 0 port 1 port 2 port 3 these three four will act as a port latches uh, and acts as a registers and timer registers control registers uh, and serial data buffer registers. So these are all the different elements of special function registers. The most widely used registers are accumulator, uh, B register, R0 to R7, data pointer registers and program counter. So these are the mainly used, uh, widely used registers in 8051 microcontroller. Now let us discuss each and every register clearly. So the first one is the accumulator. So what is the use of this accumulator register? So the accumulator registers are used to move and uh, commonly used for moving operations and calculating arithmetic instructions we will use the accumulator registers. So it can be this accumulator registers can be referred referred to in several ways. So what are those several ways? It can be used in several ways. So first it implicitly in opcodes. It can be used as implicitly in opcodes. Uh, it can be referred to as referred to as accumulator or A for instructions that allows specifying a register which allows the specifying a register and also this accumulator uh, can be used by its special function register addressing from by its special function register addressing from 0e 0h so this is about the accumulator register now coming to the next register so next is a b register so what's the use of this B register? This is commonly used to act as a temporary register. One of the point is it is acting as a temporary register. It is used by two opcodes. The B register can be used by two opcodes. So what are those opcodes? That is the MUL AB or DIV AB. 
so here the of course is div and mul multiplications and for divisions so the b register can acts as a temporary reg registers for multiplication and division so here the b register holds a second operand the b register holds a second operand and will hold part of the result means the upper 8 bits of multiplication result means whenever you are doing the multiplication this b register holds upper 8 bits of multiplication re result when you are doing the multiplication the result that you will get in that the upper 8 bits will store in b register and in the division the reminder reminder in case of division so in that cases we will go for this b temporary register so this b register can be used by two opcodes multiplication and divisions so uh, that is about the b register now coming to the next next special function register uh, the next special function register is dpl and dph data pointer register dpl is the data pointer lower and data pointer higher registers so what is the use of this register so i already said these registers can be used to access the data uh, the address location which is uh, the external ram or rom devices so it is used for storing 16 bit values so i'm just writing a code for this move data pointer comma hash data 16 uh -huh. move x a comma at the rate of dptr so what it means so here move dptr comma hash hash is an immediate data it's nothing but it set up the data pointer with 16 bit external address so it's it is used to set up the data pointer data pointer with 16 bit external address so the 16 bit external address will be stored external address of ram or rom whatever it may be that will be stored in data pointer and this comes to the copy the content of copy the memory location of data pointer to a so we are uh, the external address now it's stored in data pointer now the memory content whatever that uh, in that particular memory location so at the rate means the content will be copied to copy memory of this content to a register so that is the meaning of this two instructions so here the dptr is used for string operations and as well as a lookup table operations now coming to the next register that is a stack pointer register the next special function register is stack pointer register so it points to last used location of stack so whenever you are using the stack always use it to the last user location of stack so here the push operation so what is the push operation the push operation first will first increment it first increments and then copy the data and then copy data the push operation first increments by one and then copy the data whereas pop operation will first copy the data and decrement the stack pointer decrement the stack pointer so first it increments and then copy the data and the push operation will first copy the data and decrements the stack pointer. So in 8051 the stack grows upwards, always the stack grows upwards, uh, means from low to high memory and can be in the internal RAM only. So here the stack operations can be relo relocated by setting stack pointer to the upper memory, so suppose this is the upper upper memory and this is the lower memory here the stack can be relocated by setting up the stack pointer to the upper memory area in 30 h to 7 fh so 30 to 7 fh okay so this is about the stack pointer now coming to the next special function register that is a program status word register 
program status word register then what is the use of this uh, program status word register what uh, this is a special function register uh, it is a bit addressable it's acts as a bit addressable 8 bit registers that has all the flags that has all the flags so let me write this uh, the register of program status word so here the carry flag auxiliary carry flag 0 rs1 rs2 overflow flag and these are used for the future purpose and p is the parity flag so this is a more significant bit and this is a least significant bit so here this is a carry flag and this is a auxiliary carry flag and this acts as a flag zero flag zero which means it is available to the users for general purpose only it is available for the users for general purpose whereas coming to rs1 and rs2 these are acts as a register banks we call it as a register banks select bits it select bits so uh, select bit set by software to determine which register bank sorry bank is being used so it is going to be decided which register bank has being to be used so that will be decided by this rs1 and rs2 and ov is nothing but overflow flag and this will be used for sorry here the p only one will be there lsp total seven eight bits and p is nothing but a parity flag one indicates the even parity zero indicates the odd parity so this is about the program status word the special function register now coming to the next next special function register that is a p naught p1 p2 and p3 registers so these registers you call it as a port latches port latches these registers specifies the these registers specifying the values to be output on specific output port or the value whatever the value that is the value read from the specific input so these are acts as an input output port generally it is acts as an input and output port and p naught is only for input output port and p2 is used for some special function uh, equi uh, functions and in the same way p1 p3 is also used for some functions like multiplex to address and data bus and multi uh, higher order address bus like this so it stores uh, not only the input output and also it does the other functions whereas p naught will only work for input output operations now coming to the next special function register that is the s buff so this is another special function register we call it as a serial port data buffer the name is serial port data buffer so in this serial port data buffer there are two uh, two registers at the same location so let me take two registers or at same location then this serial buffer will act as one is used for read only one is read only used for uh, reading serial input data used for reading serial input data so this uh, serial port data buffer so uh, there are two registers at same location suppose one is read only used for reading serial uh, input data it's nothing but serial data received buffer we call it as a serial data received buffer and another is 
and other is write only used for storing serial output data one is acts as an input and another is acts as an output so here we, this we call it as a serial data transmit buffer transmit buffer so this is about the cs buff register so one of the special function register and the last special fun and the next special function register is timer registers timer registers so that is a th not and tl not so there are the two timer register th higher order and the lower order in the same way they are in the th1 and T tl1 which is used for the pair t1 timer this is for t not timer and this is for t1 timer so the high and low order bytes of 16 bit counting registers for timer or counter t0 and timer or counter t1 register and the last special function register that is control register the control registers is one of the special function register there are different types of control registers those all let me write the con different control register interrupt pointer interrupt priority not point inter prior uh, interrupt priority interrupt enable t mode timer mode t con timer control t2 con means timer 2 control so mostly this is used for uh, 8052 controller t2 con and s con s con means serial port controller and p con power control so so these are the different uh, special function registers which acts as a control registers so the control registers are interrupt priority interrupt enable t mod t con t2 con s con and p con so these are the different types of special function registers that are used in 8051 microcontroller thank you